everybody. I hope you're all doing wonderful. I'm getting ready for holiday season, as I'm sure you all are now that December's here, even though the weather's kind of crazy and warm and cold. But um, so I'm making my holiday fudge. And this is a really easy, almost foolproof recipe. It's in a double boiler. So um, I'm going to step by step take you through the recipe. It's really pretty easy. I have one in the fridge chilling so we can see um, how it is when it's done. So the first thing you need, of course, is a double boiler. But if you don't have a double boiler, which I didn't for a lot of years, so what I did was I just used a, a smaller pan that fit into a bigger pan so that you have some kind of, um, so it sits in there a little bit into your double boiler. I did that for years. So you get your double boiler and you put in one stick of butter. You let that melt up. My butter is pretty much melted in here, as you can see. Let me get my spoon. Um, the butter's pretty much melted in there. I've already made a batch. You don't have to clean your pan in between batches. You just throw your next stick of butter in and start the process all over again. I make like 10 batches in no time flat. So you put your stick of butter in here, and once your stick of butter is all melted up, I come in with my evaporated milk. And I start with three tablespoons of your evaporated milk. And I'm going to put that right into my butter mixture. To start. Then we go ahead and we put in, I put in a half a teaspoon of vanilla. And you can use any flavor you like with this. You can use peppermint and then you can put um, crushed up candy canes on the top. You can use orange. You can use any flavor in the fudge that you like. Pumpkin, there's a pumpkin spice. Um, extract that you can use, anything that's really your favorite flavor you can use. So we get that all mixed in, we get that incorporated. And then we're ready for our cocoa powdered sugar. Now what we do is we use one box of confectionery sugar. And if you don't have the box um, or you can't find it, a lot of times it's limited around the holidays, you can't find them anywhere. So you get the bags. One box equals 16 ounces. It's a pound. So you can measure out your 16 ounces. And we get that and we put it in here. And then we use a half a cup of cocoa. Now, before I put it in my double boiler, I always mix my powder, sugar, and my cocoa together. So that I don't have to worry about them not getting mixed when I pour them in my double boiler. That's the easiest way. I always mix this up. It's the first thing I do usually. Mix up my cocoa and my powdered sugar so it's all incorporated like that. So we have our butter, one stick of butter. We have to start three tablespoons of evaporated milk and one teaspoon of our extract, vanilla extract or whatever kind of extract you like to use. Now we're going to pour in, let me get my one spoon. Now we're going to pour in our mixture. Pour it in slowly. Hope you can see this right here. Pour it in slowly because it will puff up all over the place on you. Pour it into your double boiler slowly. Get that in there. And then we're going to mix this all together. That looks like that'll come together nicely. See how that looks? Now, three tablespoons is usually pretty good to start with with your evaporated milk because your evaporated milk is your magic ingredient. That's going to make your fudge um, either more creamy or more crumbly. So, whichever way you like it, if you like it thicker and cr more crumbly, then you stick with the three tablespoons of evaporated milk. I like mine a little creamier, so I usually tend to put in one more tablespoon, but it's totally up to you. So I'm going to pop in one more tablespoon 
and my evaporated milk. I like it a little creamier. You get that all stirred in. And the double boiler is nice because you can't burn it. You're not right on the flame, you can't burn it. It's just cooking with the steam. And as quick as that, look at that, we've got the fudge. It's beautiful. Has a little bit of a glassy sheen to it. It's very nice. Yum. Okay, so now what we do is we put in a heaping tablespoon of fluff. Everybody loves fluff. Everything's better with fluff. We put in a heaping tablespoon of fluff. And then we come in with just a handful of our favorite kind of chocolate chips. I like the Ghirardelli. They have them out during the holiday season. They're a little bigger. You just use a handful. And this is what's going to make your fudge like stick together. A couple more for good measure. And also, this is the point where you put in your extras. You can put in your walnuts. You can put in your candy cane crumbles. We, when this is all done, I have some Heat Bar Crunch crumbles that I'm going to put on the top of the fudge to make it a little nicer. Give it a little different flavor. Zhuzh it up a little bit. We like to zhuzh up our holiday treats. So now that we have our fluff, our chips, and our walnuts in there, try that off a little, show you. We're going to mix that all in together. And see how nice that looks. Once that's all mixed in together, Look at that, look at that beautiful fudge. Beautiful fudge. Okay, so now we have that all mixed in together. I'm gonna to take my rubber spatula, cause that's, we're gonna need a rubber spatula to get it out of the pan. If you don't have one, no biggie, but it's a lot easier to get it out of the pan if you have a rubber spatula. Now before you start, prepare yourself a square pan. Um, I don't know what size this is. I think it's an eight by eight. Depending on the thickness that you want your fudge, you can either butter it it's, and then take it out. But I like to put plastic in. I put plastic both ways. I do the X. I put plastic both ways. Push it right in here because this is going to hold our fudge. And when we're done, we're going to wrap it right up so it can cool and it can set. So we have our fudge here, and we're going to pour it right into our dish. Now, if you don't have a dish, this recipe is great too, because if your dish is a little bigger or smaller, you can mold your fudge to be the size and thickness you want. Is there screen right here? You know, for spatula. And then once you get it in your pan, you're just going to pat it down with your spatula, rubber spatula into the pan. I like my fudge a little thicker. Sometimes I only use half, the, I only squish it down to half the pan. Sometimes I like it a little thinner. So like I said, you can mold this. Now we have our fudge in our pan. It's not taking up the whole pan, like I said, I like it a little, a little um, thicker. Then we're just going to take our plastic wrap and pull it tight over the nice warm fudge, all sides, pat it down, and then let that sit, and then we are good to go for, oh, I forgot the, I forgot the Hershey crumble, or the heat bar crumble. Always something. I'm always forgetting something. So, we're going to put some Heath Bar crumbles on here. You can put this aside and 
Um, just let it set on the counter and it will cool and it will set up or you can stick it in the fridge if you're in a hurry. This is good because if you're going somewhere, it literally takes, you have all your ingredients, it literally takes 10 minutes to make this and let it set. But I have one in the fridge and I'm going to be right back and get it. And I have a brick here that I let set. We're going to open that up. We're going to cut it and see how delicious it looks. And then we're going to have a little Miss Sadie Cakes come out and try a bite and see if she likes it. So then you just get a nice big knife and cut it in the bars. And with the plastic, it's so nice. Look at that. Delicious homemade fudge. Sadie, come on over here. Come here. Jump up. Oh my goodness, Miss Sadie Cakes. Take a bite of that and tell me how you like it. Is it good? Yeah, this is really good. Um, delicious homemade fudge. It's so soft and creamy. It's easy to make. And then what I do is I take the little squares. You can wrap them in. I couldn't find any holiday plastic yet. But you can wrap them in these cute little baggies. Or um, and stick them in. A holiday baking cup or you can do little bowls put a baggie in little bowls dress them up give them as a gift they're wonderful I love it I do it every year and people just love it the fudge is delicious it's easy you can put them in little tins put your little sticker on there and you're good to go so I'm gonna keep making my fudge if you have any questions Hit me down, hit me up in the link below. Um, and as always, please like, please subscribe so that we can keep doing more fun things. And I hope you all have a wonderful holiday season. I'm sure I'll be coming out with more things before the holidays start. But here we go with our uh, more fudge making afternoon. It's raining out, so couldn't be a better time to do it. So I hope you all have a wonderful holiday season. And I hope that um, your families are doing well and you are doing well and keep the light and vibration high because it all helps. It all helps. So think of thoughts while you're making your fudge and sampling it too. Thanks, everybody. Have a wonderful day.